Hi there, it's Sam from poodles.co.uk. Thank you very much for joining me today and thank you for joining me in Spring Watch. This is two weeks of projects videos that are coming out to you back to back for 14 days because that's two weeks. And if you've been following my blog, you will know that since January I've had a new feature or a new series called Way Back Wednesday when I go back to an old video project of my own and recreate it in uh, modern patterns and papers. Um, and I haven't been creating a new video, I've been sharing the original one, but obviously we're in Spring Watch and the whole purpose of this is 14 videos. So I'm actually going to film an old project. Now this is from Spring Watch 2014 from two years ago, this one here, and it was called the Skinny Mini Box, Tall Skinny Mini Box. And I loved it. And you can see I've got celebration paper there and what have you. So I'm recreating this box for you, which is this one here with current celebration paper and obviously I've modernised it very slightly. We don't have that oval punch anymore, nor do we have that flower, but it's essentially the same. So way back Wednesday meet spring watch. Okay, let me show you how to make it. You can get two of these from a sheet of cardstock because your piece of card measures six and three quarters by five and a half inches, which is 17.2 by 14 centimetres. Okay, on the long side, with the long side up, up the top, score it at one and a quarter and five and a half inches, which is 3.2 and 14 centimetres. Gosh, obviously in those days I was doing a direct translation, wasn't I? And then on the short side, score it at one and a quarter, two and a half, three and three quarters, and five inches, which in metric is 3.2, 6.4, 9.6, and 12.8. Oh, good grief. <laughs> okay, so burnish your score lines. And this is such a cute box. You have to fill this with treats, got Valentine's coming up. Put some nice little goodies in there for your loved ones. Okay, so, right. So the top and the bottom, exactly the same. There's, there's no difference, so just decide which one's going to be the top, which is the bottom. And we're going to trim some bits. Let me find my bit of scissors. There we go. So, with it in this way, so you've got your long panel there, we're going to cut away the bottom corner and then cut up the vertical lines. So cut straight up those. Okay, so you're left with that shape and these are all all separated, all four of those. So that's your box cut ready. So we're going to stick our adhesive on now because it's always easier to do it when it's separated. And this is celebration paper. This is, oh, what's the name of it? I want to call it Wildflower Fields. This is a celebration catalogue. If you haven't got one, let me know. I have English, I have French, I have German. Happy to post them out free of charge because I'm nice like that. Yes, Wildflower Fields. So it's all gorgeous. And this is it as well. So, these four pieces, I've just covered up my instructions, these measure one by four inches or two and a half by ten centimetres. And there's four of them. Okay, you can hear, I'm still full of cold. I've been so poorly for, oh, far too long now. Um, I think I sound worse than I actually am. I wasn't very good this time last week, but I think I just sound a bit thick in the head and thick in the nose and fluffy in the head. Okay, so I've got snail on all of those, so you just put them in the middle of those parts. Dead simple. They're cute, aren't they? These are um, dandelion heads. Very sweet. Definitely a lovely wildflower. Okay, now we're going to put some adhesive down there, so I'm going to use my fast fuse. And that down so that's the back of my box so fold in the sides two sides one back leave the front exposed and then you can put your adhesive on that and obviously if you've got really heavy stuff in stick everything down and then with it sitting on your desk like that put your four fingers to the middle of the left and the right hand side and push in at the same time as squeezing with your thumb and middle fingers to create that shape and then turn it and do exactly the same and that is how you end up with that shape, which hopefully you can see. There we go. So that's how you end up with that shape. And let's go and find the front again. So that's my front. So I'm going to put my little peg on it. Metallics clothes pins. So 
and that's going to keep it shut and we'll do a little bit of stamping so the stamps that I've got this time memories in the making I love this although I'm only using a tiny stamp from it I love it because it's got poodle loops love them but I've got the smile which is just tucked down there and it's a photopolymer stamp uh, stamp set it's meant to go with the project life stuff but you know I'm a use everything for anything kind of girl so oh I'm sticking to myself got my bit of whisper white oh I forgot to get my ink out oh I don't even know which color I'm going to choose I think I might go for blackberry bliss which is the one that I did on there so I have that there we go easy and then I'm going to punch that one with my three quarter inch circle punch and I'm going to I want to push it so it's a bit more towards the bottom so I can stick my flat flower above it seven eighths of an inch scallop circle into my piece of old olive to match the rest come back in with this one and this is the um, the blossom uh, punch which has got three flowers and we're going to do a little bit of elevation on these so this little one here which has got you six points lost my paper piercer oh my paper piercer it's in front of me <laughs> Back of the paper piece, piercer into the middle, can't speak. Same with this one, but you'll get a little bit of creasing with it, but that's okay. And this one as well, and we're just kind of wanting to curl up the edges more than anything. And then I'm going to come in with my rhinestones. I'm going to put two underneath the smile. And one off to one side, because I like to work in odds odd numbers, a medium one in the middle of this smallest flower and oh, wrong one, a big one in the middle of the medium flower because that's going to nest over the top of that one. So I'm just looking for my mini glue dots. So into the centre of the middle one, that will be my foam and over there and then I'm going to pop all these together so That's on there, it's kind of dimensional. So I can put my smile up there. It's a nice little jaunty angle. My little six petal flower off at the top. And then the bigger one down at the bottom somewhere. And that is me sticking to the tabletop. That is my Spring Watch Meets Way Back Wednesday Tall Skinny Mini Box. What do you think? Oh, look, only in eight minutes as well. Or less than that if you take out the chatter at the front of the video. Anyway, I do hope you like it. Don't forget to get in touch. Celebration paper you can only get for free. We love only for free. Um, but anyway, thank you ever so much for joining me and I hope to speak to you soon.